name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, one God, amen. My name is George Bullis, and every evening I will be coming on YouTube and meditating on this book. It is called, All That I Have Is Yours, 100 Meditations with the Saints Book, the Sixth on Spiritual Life. This is written by, let's go here, Father Carlos Ibrahim. Father Carlos Ibrahim. He is a priest in St. Paul's American Orthodox, Coptic Orthodox Church. So, that's who it was written by. Um, so, this book is set up like the Agbeya. Any Coptics here, you already know the Agbeya. First hour, third hour, sixth hour, uh, ninth hour, eleventh hour, midnight hour. We know this. So, every psalm is given a story, and it does it. It's not every psalm, it's like every psalm or every two psalms. I don't know, but it, it, he gathers a bunch of psalms, makes a story, makes meditation. And they all align, like the stories in the sky. So let's look at the, at the first story, may we? Psalm 1. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. Okay, so this story speaks of a woman who was a teacher. It says here in 1962, a certain lady worked as a school teacher, was transferred in a new position in Cairo. She used to go regularly to the cathedral early morning and, and attend vespers in the morning, morning prayers and oral matins. Matins, not vespers. <laughs> Sorry. And she would attend the liturgy. So we know she was a righteous woman. So she is receiving problems at work because it says, in 1964, she started experiencing many problems from some <coughs> malicious, <coughs> malicious people at work. So we know, to our parents, as Coptics, if you're not Coptic, this is gonna be new information, to our parents and our grandparents, the Coptic people became a minority a couple hundred years after Islam took its empire, made its empire in Egypt. So this is why she was facing malicious problems. So we really know she is a righteous woman and the Lord knows her. What does this mean? The Lord knows everyone. This means the Lord, this means the Lord remembers her and will help her. And you will see this in a moment. So she was holding a, she went to the cathedral, she was holding a note in her left hand behind her back and waited for the Pope at the bottom of the stairway of his residence. So the Pope came down, after that the Pope came down, moved his stick from his left to the right, uh, from his, yeah, left to the right, went down and took the note from her. And before she could say anything, he took the note and told her, go to work, do not fear anything. The Lord is with you. Like I said, the Lord remembers you because she is righteous. So, so we see this in this story. So this is a spiritual reflection. What 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 does Father Carlos put on this? He says the virtue, this is this part is a virtue of faith. He says faith can be understood through terms both dogmatic and theo dogmatic to theology dogmatic theology and spiritual theology when we speak of the content of faith we usually mean dogmatic theology what the church teaches in in its definitions of faith through the holy trinity and Christology, and so on faith is both a gift of god and a foundation upon which everything in the spiritual life is built the con contents of faith are transmitted through the church. It says in Matthew 13, verse 12, For whoever has to him, more will be given, and who he, will, he will have abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away. From faith that comes through the witness of others. Okay, there are three types, there are a couple types of faith. Faith that comes from the witness of others. Faith that expands 
through the, our own experiences, faith that received the infusion of the God's grace to the soul, to the abundance of co co cooperation. So he speaks of three dimensions of faith, witness, infusion of God, Wit the witness of faith, the experience of faith, and the infusion of God of God's grace. And we see this through the next couple stories. So this, what, what can we, what can, how can we connect these? The woman had the faith. She knew Baba Kerlis. Baba Kerlis is like a folk Kerlis, but in Arabic and Coptic. Baba Kerlis will help me and he will give me the instructions. She knew this. So what? So we should all be determined and we should all know that if we go to our intercessor every night and ask him for forgiveness, uh, and not forgiveness, if we ask him for help, for guidance in our life, he will help us. But this is only on the condition if we go to church, if we're good, and if we pray. These are the conditions. And it's not it's not that Christ is setting conditions. Is that it's this is all getting us closer to God. We can't get closer to God on one part and not get closer to God on the other part. We have to all get closer to God. We our hairs on our heads and our toes on our feet all need to be closer to God. Okay, that makes no sense. But I think you understand. Our whole body, our mind, our body, our soul, and our spirit all need to be close to God. If one diverts, the whole body feels, as Jesus said, the eye is the root of all sin. So glory be. So this is what this is wraps up the video for today. Glory be to God forever. Amen. And tomorrow we will begin on the witness of faith with Psalm 2. Thank you. Bye-bye.